students will take an introductory course, a policing class, a corrections class, a courts class, um, and along with a couple other required electives, after that point, students will get to largely pick the electives that would allow them to focus in on the area that they want to pursue as a career. And so I'm changing things up a little bit where some of the shift of focus will be on giving students a background in criminological theory, giving them the opportunity to learn how we do research in the field and actually conduct a fairly large research project as a class together that they can then hopefully present at conferences. Um, they take a capstone course where they'll do a lot of hands-on practitioner-based work, interviews with people in the field, site visits, having to shadow people who work in the area that they are choosing to work in. So they get a very real uh, experience of what the day-to-day -day of their job is going to be like rather than going into it maybe with the way the media portrays their job to be in some of the shows they like to watch. So I'm moving forward with trying to really expand um, and focus on the fact that the criminal justice system is a huge system. It's not just law enforcement. It's not just policing as people see it. It's that. It's the courts. It's the correctional system. It's what we do with um, prisoners once they get out of prison. And trying to really focus on allowing students the opportunities they need to be successful in whatever branch they might pursue rather than just policing. One of the things I try to do and incorporate within my classes is a lot of networking so that the students are making network connections with people in the fields that they're interested in going into because um, we know that a lot of the jobs oftentimes are based on who you know. And so it's not just that you have a degree, but if you're up against another person who has the same degree, but you have the extra experiences, the study abroad, the internship, and you have the network connections at that particular department, you'll more likely be the pick. And so what I'm trying to do is get a lot of the students during this bachelor's um, degree completion to have many of those experiences so that they are the best candidate possible moving forward. Part of the changes coming in the criminal justice degree are also though to help prepare the students who may want to go on for graduate education. Um, students who might go on in graduate school, I've had students who go on for um, master's in social work degrees, I have those who go on in master's in criminal justice, I've had some who are considering going on for PhD so that they can come back and work in academia. Um, but I always want to know that they're going to be fully prepared. Um, and so that's where adding some of the classes I've added uh, provided an additional incentive for those who have gone to graduate school because they'll have a foundation in theory and they'll have a foundation in research methods that some of their fellow classmates and colleagues within that cohort may not actually have. And so I'm trying to best prepare students across the board for whatever field they may be choosing to go into that they'll have had the opportunity to have the experiences that will put them in the best position for whatever that job may be. One of the things I'm working with the psychology faculty on moving forward is we have a alcohol and drug counseling certification that is unique to our program. We're the only school in Kentucky that offers it. Um, and my colleague, uh, Dr. DeArth, is working very heavily on getting that certification and program um, really something that more students are interested in, that they realize the benefit of doing that. And a lot of my students, those planning to go on probation, parole, corrections, um, those types of fields, uh, they should be able to see the value of how having something like that certification would put them leaps and bounds ahead of other fellow criminal justice majors who might be competing for the same job and have the bachelors in criminal justice but the fact that they have this certification and this ability to do counseling um, within the system as well would just be phenomenal. 